Hello, I thought that I would create a tutorial video just showing how I set up uh, projects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, this is really designed for absolute beginners. I thought I'd just step you through uh, what I do. Um, there's many different ways to set up a project um, and don't treat this as the be all and end all, but I just thought I'd show you the way that I personally do it and organize my files. It might be useful. Uh, if you find a different way that suits you better, that's great. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is let's, this work really works for any computer. Um, before I even set up a project in Adobe Premiere Pro, what I do is I like to get my files and folders in order. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set up a new folder on the desktop, but this could really be anywhere, um, and give it a name. And I'm gonna call it Video Project. And this is the name that my project is also gonna be as well. I'm gonna open up that folder, and then I'm gonna create another folder inside called Raw. Uh, the reason why is because I want all my all my raw, original, unedited vision, audio, images, every single media that I'm using in this project, I want it to live here. Uh, the reason why is because as your projects get bigger and bigger, uh, you might end up having bits and pieces of media living all over the place, different computers, different hard drives, different um, SD cards, etc. And not only is that cumbersome and annoying, it's really easy to lose things. I don't wanna lose anything, so I keep all the originals in one spot. So in this raw folder, I'm gonna open it up and do even more organization. I'm going to call a new folder one video, one audio, one images, um, and you could get uh, as uh, in-depth in terms of creating folders and organizing your media as you want. This generally works for me, unless the project that I'm doing is really big. Um, in these three folders, I'm going to put all the original media that I'm working with. Um, on this external hard drive here, I just have three files, um, just for example's sake. I have a video file that I'm going to drag and put in my video folder. I have uh, an audio file that is, I'm going to drag into my audio folder. And then I have a shot of a photo of a cute kitten because why not and i'm going to drag that into images so these are my raw unedited files for this project a video a piece of audio and an image okay and they all live in the raw folder of the video project folder now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start adobe premiere pro so let's get that going Okay, once you're in Premiere Pro, uh, go to New Project, and then give your project a name. Um, I give it exactly the same name as whatever I named that original folder, so let's call it Video Project. And then, really important, set the location, click Browse, set the location to that same folder, which for me at the moment is living on the desktop, Video Project, I'm gonna click on that, and then click Choose. Now what this does is by setting the location as the same folder, if I click on scratch disks just to show you, it means that all my audio previews, video previews, project autosaves, etc., it's all going to live in the same place as project. Where is that? That is this folder. So basically, as I said before, everything is gonna live in this folder, all the original stuff as well as all the edits. So I don't need to go searching for things uh, if I misplace something. So once you have set your name and your location, you can just click OK and it will bring you up Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, now the next step is I'm going to go into this folder, video project, go into raw, and let's drag some of these files over into the import media to start. So here's my video, I'm gonna drag that over. Uh, drag over the audio, and also drag over that photo of the kitten. Um, now, again, I already don't like how this is looking. I think this is gonna get really, really confusing because I have different types of media just living in one spot. So I'm going to mimic the folders of what appears here 
and I'm going to create them in Adobe as well because I just think it's so much easier to organize. So I'm going to right click and go new bin. That's what Premiere Pro calls a folder and create a new folder or bin. And I'm going to call one video, another one audio and another one images, etc. And then I'm going to drag all these in. So video is going to live in video. Image is going to live in images. Audio is going to live in audio. That way I can clean up my organization and it already looks so much nicer. Um, one final thing that I do when setting up a project is it's really important that whatever you drag in as your first media to create a sequence, um, you really think about it before you do it because whatever you drag into your the first file is going to set the parameters of the entire project. Uh, that means that basically there's different cameras have different uh, options for frame rates, bit rates, etc. Uh, it's really confusing. I don't need to go into it. But basically, um, whatever the first uh, file piece of media you drop in here is going to tell the entire project, hey, this was shot on this particular camera in these particular settings. You can change that later, but it's just so much easier to get it right the first time. So what that means is the very first file that you drag over should be a video file of the camera that you use the most. Don't drag in an image, don't drag in an audio file, it'll just confuse everything. Only for the first, very first file, drag in a video of using the camera that you shot most of the project on, drag it over. It creates a new sequence and also sets the parameters around that particular camera that you used. Um, by doing that, it's also created a new sequence. That's it here. Um, sequence is basically shots on the timeline. It's where all our edits go. So I can drag this in again, etc. Um, but it's created a new sequence and it's given it a name C001 because that's what the video file was called. And again, I don't think that is uh, very clean, neat, or uh, easy to organize, I want to change that name. So I'm going to go in here, which so I have the video file and then I have now have the sequence file. Double click on it and just change that to let's call it sequence. Let's call it edit 01. And it's changed it up here as well. Far easier to uh, look at. It's live currently living in video. I want that to live outside of video actually, maybe even in a new bin called sequences. Why not? Drag it in. There we go. So now everything is living clean. So I can move that cute cat over as well. Video, cat, move in the audio, living down there, etc. and start doing edits. And all those edits are going into this sequence edit one. Cool. All right. So that's basically how I set up my project. And then I just uh, keep adding and editing, etc., which you can see in different videos. Um, last step before you uh, begin going too far into this is to save. So I go file, save, and then everything is great and saved. Um, and I just want to show you what that actually looks like in terms of folders. So if I go into back into the finder, in my video project folder, which is living on the desktop, I still have my raw folder where all the original files are living. But now I have two extra things that have popped up. The first is video project Premiere Pro file. This is the uh, project that I'm editing right here. Every time I save, it's going to update this particular fo file here. And then I have the auto save uh, folder. I think at a default, uh, Premiere Pro auto saves every like 10 or 15 minutes or so. So as those auto saves go ahead, uh, that's going to appear in this folder here. Um, the cool thing is that basically these three pieces of uh, data is all you need to back up your project anywhere. So if I close down Premiere Pro, close that as well, this one folder with these three bits of data inside, I can copy and back that up anywhere. So let's, for example, copy it and put it on my external hard drive. And now let's say I 
unplugged the external hard drive, went to a different computer, plugged in the external hard drive, then opened this up, I can continue working on my project exactly where I left off because I have all the raw original files and I also have these two extra files now. And that's all you need to uh, really edit on the go in case you're changing computers and locations. Um, it also keeps everything backed up in a really nice place. There we go, exactly where I left off. And then I go File, Save, that's going to save this particular one. And then let's say I wanted to then continue on on a different computer. I could just, again, copy that, put it back on the desktop, etc., and continue. So that's how I set up project files. I hope that helps. Uh, there's lots of other videos on this channel which goes through how to do edits and my process for editing. Uh, but I hope that helps in terms of setting up your project to make editing a little bit easier.